Students must not face broken and corrupt schools. The first and foremost things the schools must teach are ways out of poverty. Rather than teaching just mathematics, which are too abstract for most students anyways, we have to teach applied mathematics, where the students can create unique generative art, be it generating sculptures, or programming vast posters filled with little pixel art characters, mastery of mathematics will come very easy, especially with the use of tutorials made by other students, which will be paid for by the school and the state, this here being an example of money flowing to the more honest student teacher. Yes, applied subjects center around money making with the purpose of breaking the children out of their poverty, poverty that we put them in. But they still approach every important subject there is, and this time for real. Graduation should never be about grades, as that is a mechanism to track teachers' progress, a self-evaluation mechanism. Why am I not surprised? A grade should never be permanent anyways, because students learn and they transcend what they have learned before. It is crazy to punish them for something they were not ready to understand at some point in their past. And anyways, it would be the fault of the school structure, as different students learn different things in a different sequence. That's called being human. Grading them down just to graduate them all together from lowest common denominator classes is fraud. Students need real things and effective lectures that they can use to get themselves out of poverty. They don't need abstract lectures and imaginary concepts like grades. They are the future of this world and they need our best there are very few good teachers, so few, in fact, that they become famous. Everyday school teachers should be presenting lectures based on their work, and students need the ability to pause lectures anyways. They must be allowed to find their own path through the sciences, or they will not be able to learn. Not everyone can learn concepts when they are presented in class, and they will be forced to memorize anything that builds on top of what they don't understand. And that is not an education. That is make-believe. It is not something that they choose to do. They have no other choice. Furthermore, any organization that threatens students with failing is not a real school. The existence of students that don't want to learn is a fairy tale. They are ignoring classes because they are missing the prerequisite knowledge. To give a simple example, they know they can't learn fractions if they don't know addition, so they don't listen because they can see that school is fraud. There isn't a teacher in the world that doesn't sense this. They just don't care because they know they can't do anything about it. If the world could only see how those two problems are one and the same, it would weep in shame. One thing is for certain, the future generations will know, especially in the midst of climate change. Oh, they will know. Timed, cut up, abstract education is fraud. 
It is only meant to pay off the school staff. But the schools are meant for the students because they will be dealing with the mistakes that we have created and propagated. It is a wonder they listen to any teachers at all. It does not take very long to see through all the fraud. In a more serious world, we should recognize schools that do not produce reliable results as fraud and take the money they stole back. Perhaps make it so that the resulting debt cannot be cancelled by bankruptcy. Lectures have to be restructured, and stupid and fraudulent grades and graduations eliminated. A graduation is nothing more than making room for students that won't protest the ongoing mediocrity and the endless repetition of noise. In closing, schools are not working and they are an insult to the future generations. The students must build their own paths, not a semester at a time, but a valuable lecture at a time. It's how a human being learns. And they need to be able to pause the lectures because nobody learns at somebody else's speed. There is a type of division of subjects where a student starts with an introduction and then within a few weeks, maybe up to three months, reaches a class that will begin preparing them to make money from what they have learned. This will often be a small amount, often referred to as a side project. But students will have many such sources of income that deal with many different subjects and tangents. The students who are failing classes are not stupid. They are aware that they have been thrown under the bus. They know what is going on and they know what the teachers are. And they know that parents are using school as a babysitter. We have to fix all this. We have to fix the order of lectures and introduce practical applications that lead to small money-making projects that will help them out of poverty. We must not cheat the future generations out of real education whilst marking them down for our own failures just so that the pyramids of fraudsters get their little paychecks on their way to their fraudulent retirements. Do not confuse temporary effects of indoctrination and lack of experience with student intelligence. Eventually, they will figure it all out, probably as you get older and end up needing their help. All human beings are extremely smart and extremely intelligent. Each one of the students has a right to true knowledge that will set them free from poverty onward to wisdom and if they so choose, greatness.